All right, welcome. This is going to go over the solutions for the two-step equations. Um, here, they're asking us to solve the equations. All these are, uh, for the most part, two steps. Okay, so number one, we have 6 equal a divided by 4 plus 2. First step is always to rewrite the equation and draw the lines straight down, separating the left from the right. We see that the variables on the right hand side, what is attached to the variable so far is a divide by 4 and a plus 2. The most outward thing is the plus 2, so that is what we have to get rid of. To undo 2, we have to do the inverse, which is going to be subtract 2. So you're going to subtract 2 to both sides. The left hand side here has 6, subtract 2, that becomes a 4. On the right hand side, the 2 subtract the 2 cancels out. You are left with a divided by 4 on the right hand side. Now you have a divide by 4 left over on the right hand side. To get a alone, you do the opposite or the inverse of divide by 4, which is to multiply by 4. Multiply 4 to both sides. This cancels out because it makes the number 1. You get 16 on the left hand side, and the right hand side just becomes a. 2 negative 6 plus x divided by 4 equal to negative 5. Rewrite the equation and draw the line straight down. So, so far, what is attached to the x on the left hand side is a divide by 4 as well as a minus 6. We want to get rid of the minus 6 first. So you're going to add 6 to both sides. That is how you get that to cancel. On the left hand side, you get an x divided by 4 left over, and on the right hand side, negative 5 plus 6 becomes 1. Right now, you have a divide by 4 left over on the left hand side that is still attached to the x. To get rid of a divide by 4, you multiply by 4. The 4 here is cancel out. What do you have left over on the left hand side? It's just an x. Once you multiply 4 to the other side, 1 times 4 is also 4. 1 times 4 is 4, okay? Number 3, 9x equals to 7 equal to negative 7. Rewrite the equation and draw the line straight down. Um, right now, we have a 9 times x as well as a subtract 7. To get rid of a subtract 7, we undo it by doing the inverse, which is to add 7. We add 7 to both sides. Notice that the negative 7 and the 7 cancels out. It makes the number 0. On the left hand side, we have a 9x. On the right hand side, negative 7 plus 7 becomes 0. To get x alone, right now it's 9 times x. Okay. To undo times or undo multiplication, you divide. So I am going to divide by 9 to both sides. Once I do that, I get x equals to 0. 0 divided by 9 just becomes 0. Number 4, 0 equals to 4 plus n divided by 5. Okay, we have a 4 that is attached, that is add, as well as divide by 5. So we want to get rid of the 4, which is add 4. We want to undo add 4 by subtracting 4. Okay, that's the only way it gets to cancelled. The only thing left over on the right hand side is an n divided by 5. On the left hand side, it's negative 4. On the right hand side, it's divide by 5. How do you undo or do the inverse of divide by 5? You multiply by 5. That should cancel out. On the left hand side, you get a negative 20. On the right hand side, you get an n. Number 5. 4n, 4, negative 4 equal to r divided by 20 minus 5. Rewrite the equation and draw the line straight down. Right now, next to the variable, which is r, you have a divide by 20 as well as a subtract 5. Which one do you want to get, a, get rid of first? It's the outwardmost thing, so it's the subtract 5. The opposite or the inverse of subtract 5 is to add 5. Once we add 5 to both sides, you will see that it cancels out. The left-hand side, negative 4 plus 5, becomes a 1. What do you get left over on the right-hand side? It's just an r divided by 20. It comes straight down. What is the inverse or the opposite of divide by 20? It is to multiply by 20. Notice once you multiply by 20, that cancels out. What you get left over on the right-hand side is just an r. On the left-hand side, 20 times 1 just becomes 20. 6. Negative 1 equal 5 plus x divided by 6. Rewrite the equation and draw a line straight down. 
what we have here is a divide by 6 as well as a f add 5. We, the add 5 is stuck inside the fraction so you cannot do anything to the plus 5. You have to deal with the fraction first of all. In this case I am going to multiply by 6 to both sides. That should cancel. On my left hand side 6 times negative 1 is just negative 6. On my right hand side you are left over with a 5 plus x. Right now you are adding 5 to the x so you're going to subtract 5 for it to cancel out. Negative 6 minus 5 which is negative 11. You could also write negative 6 plus negative 5 it's also negative 11. What you have left over on the right hand side is just an x. 7. v plus 9 divided by 3 equals to 8. What do you do here? Please understand that it what you have once you rewrite the equation and draw the line straight down, you have an add 9 as well as a divide by 3. You have an add 9 and a divide by 3. Which one do you want to deal with first? You cannot subtract right here. You cannot deal with the add 9 because it is stuck inside the, the fraction. So you have to undo the fraction. You have to undo the divide by 3. How do you undo the divide by 3? You are going to multiply by 3. Watch it cancel out because 3 over 3 becomes 1. On my left hand side, you just get v plus 9. On my right hand side, 8 times 3 is 24. So subtract 9 to both sides because that is the inverse or the opposite of plus 9. You should see 9 minus 9 cancels out. On my left hand side, I just get v. On my right hand side, 24 minus 9 should be 15. 8. 2 parentheses n plus 5 closed parentheses equals to negative 2. First step is so let's rewrite the equation and draw the line straight down. We notice that there is a parentheses, therefore you have to distribute. 2 is going to be distributed to the n, so that's 2 times n, and 2 is going to be distributed to the 5, so it's 2 times 5. 2 times n is 2n, 2 times 5 is 10. Nothing happens to the negative 2, which is on the right hand side, so it comes straight down. Subtract 10 to both sides because here you have a plus 10 and you're trying to get the n alone, so you're going to swap trend to both sides. The plus 10 and the minus 10 cancels out. No, I didn't show that there. Okay. My right hand side, negative 12 plus negative 10, which is negative 12. Or you could say negative 2 subtract 10, which is still negative 12. Right now we have 2 times n, so you have to divide. This cancels out. 2 over 2 cancels out. That just gets you an n. Okay. Negative 12 divided by 2 does get you your negative 6. Okay. Here the hashes do reappear. I just had the animation in the wrong sequence. Remember this cancels out and that cancels out. Okay. That is how you get the next terms. 9. Negative 9x plus 1 equals to negative 80. Rewrite the equation and draw the line straight down. What do you have on the side of the variable? You have a negative 9 times x and a plus 1. You want to deal with the plus 1 first, so you're going to subtract 1. The reason why you deal with the plus 1 first is because it is the most outward thing. Plus 1 minus 1 cancels out. You are left with a negative 9x on the left-hand side. On the right-hand side, negative 80 minus 1 becomes negative 81. Divide by negative 9 to both sides because right now it's negative 9 times x. So what is the opposite or the inverse of negative 9 times x? It's n divide by 9, negative 9. Please understand you're dividing by negative 9. Because the negative 9 divided by negative 9 cancels out, it makes the number 1. On my right hand side, negative 81 divided by negative 9 is positive 9. Please be careful. Please plug this into your calculator if you cannot see it. It's x equals to 9 and it is a positive 9. Number 6, 10. Negative 6 equals to n divided by 2 plus 10. Rewrite the equation and draw the line straight down. What is attached to the variable? It is on the right hand side. You have a divide by 2 and a minus 10. How do you get rid of a divide by 2 or a minus 10? You want to deal with the most outward thing, so you're going to deal with the negative 10. Why do you how do you get rid of a negative 10? You're going to add 10 to both sides. That should cancel out. Negative 6 plus 10, that should get you a 4. The n, minus, the n divided by 2 stays here on the right-hand side. How do you get rid of a divide by 2? You're going to multiply by 2. That cancels out. What do you have left over on, the, on your right-hand side? It's just an n. On my left-hand side, it just becomes an 8. 
4 times 2 becomes an 8. Let's look at number 11. Negative 2 equals to 2 plus v over 4. We write the equation and draw the line straight down. What we have on the variable side it is a plus 2 and a divide by 4. It is a plus 2 and a divide by 4. Which one do you want to get rid of? The add 2 or the divide by 4? Again, the v here, you want to deal with the 2 because it is the most outward thing. So you're going to subtract 2 to both sides. That should cancel out. It should become negative 2 minus 2 becomes negative 4. Notice the v divided by 4 comes straight down. It becomes a one-step problem now. You have v divided by 4. What is the inverse or the opposite of divide by 4? It is to multiply by 4. So I multiply by 4 to both sides. The 4 over 4 on the right-hand side cancels out because it makes the number 1. On my left-hand side, 4 times negative 4 becomes negative 16. The v comes straight down. So negative 16 is equal to v. Number 12, 144 equals to negative 12, parentheses x plus 5, close the parentheses. You rewrite the equation and draw the line straight down. You want to do the distributive problem to get rid of the parentheses, so it is negative 12 times x plus negative 12 times 5. You want it to simplify the distributive property, so negative 12 times x is negative 12. Negative 12 times 5 is negative 60. Please be careful with the negatives. Here it becomes a regular two-step problem. You, what is attached to the x? It is a negative 12 times as well as a minus 60. So you want to deal with the minus 60 first. In this case, you're going to add 60 both sides, so this can cancel out. On my left hand side, you should get 144 plus 60, which becomes 204. On my right hand side, the negative 12x comes straight down. Right here, you have negative 12 times x. What is the opposite or the inverse of multiply? It is to divide. So here, you're going to divide by negative 12. Once you divide by negative 12, you will see negative 12 over negative 12 cancels out. On my left hand side, 204 divided by negative 12 becomes negative 17. My right hand side, it just becomes x. Let's look at 13 now. It is negative 15 equals to negative 4m plus 5. Rewrite the equation and draw the line straight down. Here, what is attached to the variable is a negative 4 multiply. Right here, negative 4 multiply. Also, you have a plus 5. Which one do you want to deal with? You want to deal with the most outward thing, which is going to be the 5. How do you deal with an add 5? You're going to subtract 5. Okay, your plus 5 and subtract 5 cancels out on the right-hand side, leaving only a negative 4m left over on the right-hand side. On my left-hand side, negative 15 minus 5 is negative 20. Here, it's negative 4 times m. The inverse or the opposite of multiply is divide, so you're going to divide by negative 4 to both sides. Negative 4 divided by negative 4 cancels out. On my right-hand side, it just becomes m. On my left-hand side, it just becomes 5. 14. 10 minus 6v equals to negative 104. Rewrite the equation and draw the line straight down. What is attached to the v at this point? It is a negative 6 times v. Please understand it is a negative 6 times v as well as a plus 10. Which one do you want to deal with first, the plus 10 or the multiply by negative 6v? It should be the 10, the add 10. How do you get rid of an add 10? We are going to subtract 10. Make sure you do that to both sides. 10 subtract 10 on my left hand side cancels out. What do you have left over on the right hand on the left hand side here? Just negative 6v. Negative 104 minus 10 it becomes negative 114. What is attached to the v right now? It is negative 6 times v. The opposite of multiplication is division, so you're going to divide by negative 6 to both sides. The negative 6 divided by negative 6 on the left hand side cancels out becomes the number one so you're left with a v on the left hand side negative 144 divided by negative six is a positive 19. number 15 8 n plus 7 is equal to 31. rewrite the equation and draw the line straight down right now you have an 8 times n as well as the plus 7 which one do you want to get rid of first we're going to get rid of the plus 7 what is the inverse or the opposite of add 7 it is to subtract 7 now you see the cancellation out what do you have left over on the left hand side just becomes 8v on my right hand side 31 subtract 7 is equal to 24 
Right now you have 8 times n, so what is the inverse? You would divide by 8, divide by 8 to the left hand side. 8 over 8 cancels out, becomes the number 1. So on my left hand side it just becomes n. On my right hand side 24 divided by 8 just becomes 3. Number 16, negative 9x minus 13 is equal to negative 103. Rewrite the equation and draw a line straight down. Here you have a negative 9 times x as well as a minus 13. Which one do you want to get rid of first? It is the outwardmost thing. In this case, it's the negative or the subtract 13. How do you deal with a subtract 13? You do the inverse, which is add 13. This sheet cancels out. What do you have left over on the left hand side? It's just negative 9x. On my right hand side, negative 103 plus 13 is negative 90. What is attached to the x so far? On the left hand side, it is a multiply by negative 9. What is the inverse or the opposite of multiply by negative 9? It is to divide by negative 9. That should cancel out. What do you have left over? It should be an x equals to negative 10. 17. n plus 5 divided by negative 6 n is equal to negative 1. Right here, you have a plus. Um, rewrite your equation and draw a line straight down. What do you have that is attached to the variable? You have a plus 5 as well as a divide by negative 16. Here, a lot of students will try to subtract the 5. Mm -mm, you cannot do that. The plus 5 is stuck inside the fraction, so you have to deal with the fraction first. In this case, we have to deal with the, neg the divide by negative 16. So what is the inverse or the opposite of divide by negative 16? It is to multiply by negative 16. You see the cancellation. On the left-hand side, you have n plus 1. On my right-hand side, negative 1 times negative 16 is just 16 n plus 5 is left over on the left hand side you have an add 5 so what is the inverse of add 5 it is to subtract 5 the plus 5 and the subtract 5 should cancel out what you have left over on the left hand side which is just an n my right hand side 16 subtract 5 is 11 number 18 you rewrite the equation and draw a line straight down what you have over on the right hand side is you have a negative 10 you're adding negative 10 as well as a 7 times x, m. So, right now, we could either work with the subtract 10 or the multiply by 7. You want to deal with the most outward thing here, which is the subtract 10. To get rid of a subtract 10, you're going to add 10 to both sides. See, it cancels out. So you should have a subtract 10 here, cancels out with the 10 here, that becomes a 0. Negative 10 plus 10 also cancels out. We have 0 equals to 7m. Right now, it's 7 times 10. What is the inverse or the opposite of multiplication? It is division. So 7 over 7, Okay, that becomes just m. So m equals to 0. All right. 19. Negative 10 equals to 10 parentheses k minus 9. Close the parentheses. Rewrite the equation and draw the line straight down. Nothing have nothing is dealt with on the left hand side, but on the right hand side you have parentheses. So you want to get rid of the parentheses by doing the distributive property. It should be 10 times k as well as 10 times negative 9. Okay, please be careful. It is a negative 9. Do you see the symbol right there? Negative 9. So simplify, 10 times k is 10k, 10 times negative 9 is negative 90. In this case, it becomes a two-step problem here. You have a multiply by 10 and a subtract 90. Which one do you want to get rid of first? You are right. You want to deal with the subtract 90. What is the inverse or the opposite of subtract 90? It is to add 90. Add 90 to both sides, you get that cancels out on the right-hand side. Left-hand side, negative 10 plus 90 becomes 80. My right-hand side just becomes 10k. It's 10 times k. What is the opposite or the inverse of multiplication? It is division. So you're going to divide by 10. The 10 over 10 just cancels out to make the number 1. On my left-hand side, 80 divided by 10, it becomes 8. So 8 equals 2k. My right-hand side, you have m divided by 9 minus 1 equals to negative 2. Right now, you have a divide by 9. You want to rewrite the equation and draw the line straight down. What do you have on the side of the variable? You have a divide by 9 and a subtract 1. Which one do you want to get rid of first? The outwardmost thing, so you're going to deal with the negative 1 or the subtract 1. How do you deal with subtract 1? You want to add 1. This 2 should cancel out. 
what do you get left over on the left hand side just an m minus 9 my right hand side negative 2 plus 1 becomes negative 1 let me make that fix here should be a minus here right yep so that should be a minus as well because you're gonna be multiplying by 9 that should cancel out what you have left over on the left hand side is just an M on my right hand side it should have been a negative 9 okay please be very careful I made a mistake here okay that should be negative 1 okay um, good all right, number 21, 9 plus 9n equals to 9. Rewrite the equation and draw a line straight down. What is attached to the variable side? You have an add 9 and a multiply by 9. So you want to deal with the 9 first, <laughs> the add 9. So what is the inverse of add 9? It is to subtract 9. You should see the cancellation, 9 subtract 9 becomes 0. My left-hand side just gets you a 9n, and on my right-hand side, 9 subtract 9 should get you a 0. Divide by n, divide by 9 to both sides, you get that should cancel out, n should be equal to 0. My right-hand side, you have 7 parentheses, 9 plus k, close the parentheses, equals to 84. Rewrite the equation and draw a line straight down. We see that there is a parentheses, therefore we're going to distribute to get rid of the parentheses. It should be 7 times 9 plus 7 times k. 7 times 9 can be simplified to 63. 7 times k equals to 7k. So you have 63 plus 7k equals to 84. Here, what is attached to the variable on the left-hand side, you have an add 63 as well as a multiplication by 7. You want to deal with the add 63 first by subtracting 63. 63 subtract 63 cancels out that becomes 0 what do you have left over on the left hand side which is just a 7k 84 minus 63 becomes 21 you have 7k equals to 21 right now it is 7 times k the inverse or the opposite of times it is divide so you're going to divide by 7 to both sides 7 over 7 cancels out on my left hand side you just get a k 21 divided by 7 it is just a 3 Number 23, you have 8 plus b over negative 4 equals to 5. Draw a line, rewrite the equation, and draw a line straight down. What you have attached to the variable on the left hand side is just an 8 as well as a divide by negative 4. You want to deal with the 8 first by subtracting 8 to both sides. On my left hand side, 8 subtract 8 should cancel out, leaving you leaving me with a b divided by negative 4. On my right hand side, 5 minus 8 should be negative 3. So right now, what is attached to the variable on the left-hand side? It is just a divide by negative 4. What is the inverse or the opposite of divide by negative 4? You are right. It is to multiply by negative 4. Negative 4 times the bottom negative 4 should cancel out. Getting you lift over on the left-hand side is just B. My right-hand side, negative 3 times negative 4 becomes a positive 12. Number 24, negative 243 is equal to negative 9 parentheses 10 plus plus x close the parentheses rewrite this and as well as draw a line straight down you see a parentheses therefore we have to distribute to get rid of the parentheses nothing ha nothing affects the left hand side so it remains as negative 243 my right hand side the negative 9 is multiplied to the 10 as well as the negative 9 is multiplied to the x we simplify that negative 9 times 10 is negative 90 negative 9 times x is negative 9x what is attached to the variable on the right hand side? A minus 90 as well as a multiplication by negative 9. We want to add 90 to both sides. That should cancel out on the right hand side. On my left hand side, you get negative 153 once you plug into your calculator. On my right hand side, it is still negative 9x. How do you deal with the negative 9x? Please notice this is negative 9 times x. So you're going to divide by negative 9 to both sides. Once you divide by negative 9 to both sides, the right-hand side should cancel out. Negative 9 divided by negative 9 should become 1, getting you an x on the right-hand side. On my left-hand side, negative 153 divided by negative 9 becomes 17. All right, so there you go. Those are all your solutions for your two-step equations.